Okay, so this is Avalino with Digimon World 2003 Part 48. Uh, we're still on the way to the Dum Dum Factory again. Mm, still nothing much to say. Oh yes, I'd like. Maybe I should uh, say something about what I said last video. I was talking about cheaters. I I have one exception. Say you're at a point in the game and there's no possible way that you'll actually get past the point. It's okay to I don't know cheat for once or maybe twice, but only for that section if it's really that difficult. But not, not throughout the whole game from like the start to finish. Oh yeah, I was showing a <laughs> wall ground man in that. He's pretty strong, but there's something about the damage uh, the higher a uh, digivolved the um, digimon is the more damage it does so even with the same strength the uh, ultimate would always do more damage than for a rookie or a champion and I got lots <laughs> into lots of battles there yeah uh, I'm planning on leveling uh, Patamon basically you know the same way they're doing uh, you level up a magic cap in Pokemon basically have out have it out in the front of your party and then just switch it on the first turn to something stronger. Yep, we're the only hope. Just for some reason. Still nothing to say about the Dum Dum Factory. Other than it's still got terrible music. <laughs> I mean, why couldn't I have a more up beat soundtrack like I don't know like Chrono Trigger had a better sound effect for the factory place in the well okay I won't spoil it and we're in the sewers I don't think we encountered anything uh, last time, but you can encounter a uh, Sukumon and Numamon, who are extremely tough considering that they're Sukumon and Numamon. But then again, so was Nanumon. Because Numamon, Sukumon, and Nanumon are supposed to be really weak things. In this game, but basically, yeah, follow pretty much the strength pattern of every enemy. In that, uh, between each area or each plot point, did you get really well, much, much stronger? Especially c considering, uh, the Superman I've just fought here was a tougher fight than uh, a few videos ago against that Tower Man. And that was a bonus boss.
think I'll, uh, you know how my levels are kind of low. I think before I get back into Asuka City, I'll make sure all three Digimon are at level 20 at least. Since when I did it the first time, uh, I used do dozens of life discs because I was under level. And we're back to the secret room and we need to find, can't get into Asuka City and we need the stuff pass. And Kurt's trying to tell us something, which he could if he wasn't such an idiot and got blasted by the stupid Patamon gun. I mean, Oinkmon gun. Blah, 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 cleaning. Blah, 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 stuff, pass. Ugh. Shut up, Kurt. I mean, Patamon. Kurt. Uh, same thing. <sighs> Keith and Nick. Uh, if you remember, they were, we saw them earlier. Yeah, we saw them earlier. Uh, so that means more backtracking. <laughs> This game's abs it's uh, with a number of um, I mean sheer amount of backtracking it has. It gets even more ridiculous once you get to the second half of the game. Well not in terms of gameplay. I'm certain that the second half is a lot shorter than the first. So it's not like I have uh Oh, maybe I do have 50 or so more videos. We'll just have to see. But anyway, that's all for this video. So, thank you for watching. And this has been Avalino. See you next time.